I just watched Monkey Man, which is the directorial debut of Dave Patel, who is known for roles in Slumdog Millionaire, Avatar The Last Airbender, and Lion. This movie has a unique story, because if my facts are right, Netflix owns the rights to this film, and they weren't even planning to release it, because of the political aspects of it in the second act. But Jordan Peele watched it and loved it so much, he pushed it to be released to theaters, but take it with a grain of salt. But if it is true, I'm glad for Dave Patel, because you can really feel the passion behind the camera when you watch the movie and look at the action and the acting. You can see everything Dave Patel has learned from his years of being in film. The first act feels really intense and you can feel the weight of the characters and the desires they hold. And the last act is riveting and puts you on the edge of your seat and you can feel the desperation of Dave Patel's character in getting his revenge and gaining his goal. A lot, of, a lot of the action in the first half of the movie looks iffy at time because shaky cam is prevalent throughout the whole first act and acts as a way to make the viewer know it's supposed to be an intense moment but it just does not work because it makes the viewer confused on what's going on and following who's getting punched or who's doing the punching and I'm not saying shaky cam can't work it can but it has to be done right with the mixture of both shaky cam and steady cam like the John Wick movies or the Jason Bourne movies directed by Paul Greengrass. But I digress. Luckily, the action gets way better towards the end. Like they were learning as they went along. Or should I say finding their footing. Which is good at the end of the day. The backstory to the main character, which is named the Kid, was, I felt, introduced way too late. Which I can feel, because an audience member... Which I, can feel can, which I can feel can cause an audience member to check out early if they do not connect with Kid early on. I think it would have been better to get teases every now and then of his past from the very beginning. But the movie is still great overall, and the interjections of Indian culture were super interesting and very well integrated, in my opinion. And the monkey mask was awesome. Anyways, I gave this movie 3.5 stars out of 5. You're really gonna like this movie if you like John Wick movies and the revenge movies in general. And if, and if you like stories with death, this will do it for you too, but mainly for the action. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subbing and having a great day.